How's it going guys? Today we're going to be uh, pumping slurry into the overground tanks. So some of the slat tanks are starting to get full and uh, we gotta empty that out. Uh, we'll put, we put on the edge here, stir it up and pump them into the overground towers. Agitator on. It's just coming up to milking time now, so we're going to get the cows out of the cubicles first, and then uh, I can put the agitator in and start mixing while the cows are out. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference that the cows are there or not because they're outdoor cubicles. So there's no problem with gas or anything, but uh, it's milking time anyway, so we'll get them out first. So you can see the the. Slurry is quite full, it's right up to there, and then the top of the wall is there, and then obviously the, the slats above that and it's sealed around. So if it go, does get to the top of the wall, like it still can't get out, but uh, I like to try to pump it out before it gets to the top of the wall anyway. It's always important that we check the level at this end of the yard, because there's a, there's a fall down, so there's probably another foot of space in the tank up at the top. So it's always good to keep an eye on the level from this end. been more 
slurry at the top of the tank because the heifers have been in there for longer and all their slurry is going in so that's probably why it's so thick up there once we have a bit out of it we can probably stir up the way push water up to clear out the top of it get it all stirred up where I get it all done today now I don't think so because it is later in the day but if I can get a bit out of it then I'm not worried about the tank filling up with rain and I can come back to it tomorrow so the story seems to be mixing up here okay it has stirred up up these three spans I'm going to pump a bit out because it is a bit full at this end for stirring so I'm going to pump a bit out and then I can start uh, stirring it again I pump it out I have my pipe hooked up to the top here so I can pump it straight out and it's going up to the fill pipe on the right side of cage on the tower so all I have to do is change over this handle here now she's into pump so that should start pumping it out so it's definitely liquidy enough at this side um, so once I get down a bit I'll definitely stir it up again push some of that water up and get some of the thick stuff away from the top the only thing I don't like about this tower is that the prevailing wind is from that side so when you're pumping in you kind of blow a bit of a mist of slurry at you I've just had it running for a couple of minutes. Not sure if you can really see into the tank, you can't really see that at all. Um, she dropped maybe two foot. Yeah, one or two feet. So it's pretty quick at pumping out, especially with the way it goes into the tank. There's no restriction, it's flow straight in. So it's getting late there now. It's going to be dark in an hour. Half an hour, it's going to be dark. So I might just leave it at that for today. Come back tomorrow, we'll stir up the whole tank properly and then pump the rest of it out so it's the next day now I'm going to say this inside the shed because it's a bit windy so that you can all hear me okay um, so I'm going to start stirring up the tank uh, it was a good thing I got a good bit uh, or a small bit pumped out last night because there was a good bit of rain during the night I didn't actually check how much but uh, Dad's taken some of the tyres off the pit because we're going to open the silage pit, the main silage pit and start feeding that to the milking cows because we think that might be a bit better than the bales we're currently feeding.
So I've the tank all stirred up, nice and consistent. So now I'm just gonna hook up the pipe again, pump way out, pump as much as we can into the tower.